Good morning. Happy Friday. I hope you slept great and you woke up feeling really good this morning. I've had an amazing week. I'm feeling on top of the world. It's also spring here in Calgary, so there is nothing like the Canadian winter to really make you appreciate the beautiful growth renewal season of spring. So we've had this dark, short days, really cold, you know, this kind of dormant resting time and the change from that into spring is absolutely incredible. Grass is growing, birds are chirping, motorbikes are out, bicycles are out. This is a, a real sense of this kind of fresh spring energy and uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's happening in my life too. Today I want to talk about choosing your thoughts. I used to believe that everything started with a feeling. I was such an emotional person that I would have a strong feeling of some kind. I would react to that and then I'd inevitably behave in some kind of way that would cause a negative consequence that I didn't really want to have happen in my life. But I just felt completely powerless to do anything about it. I was like a ship on a storm. I'd be tossed this way. I'd be feeling on top of the world and then Literally five minutes later, I'd be down in the dumps and wondering what was wrong with my life and I would just be bouncing around from mood swing to mood swing to mood swing wondering what the problem was. I do believe in the saying that you can behave however you want to if you're willing to pick up the tab. So if I'm willing to pay the consequences of my actions, then go right ahead. What's happened though is that as I've gotten older, I am less willing to burn those bridges and cross those lines and upset the people in my life and cause them harm. And I'm also less willing to have that kind of day-to-day -day drama and conflict. I actually have a very peaceful, enjoyable life and I like to keep it that way. So what I've come to realize in the last few years is it doesn't actually start with a feeling. It starts with a thought. And so the actual process is thought, then feeling, then action, then consequence. So if I walk around believing that the world is a benevolent place, that I'm going to be taken care of, my needs will be met today, some of my wants even too, that I'm loved, that I'm not alone, well then that gives me a feeling of well-being and confidence and courage to be able to make healthy decisions today, to be able to behave in a way that I'm proud of, that builds up myself and the people in my life, not tears them down. And then that produces those kinds of connections and well-being that, that are the consequences I would like to have happen in my life. Today's weekend throwdown. Do you believe everything that your mind says? Or are you able to recognize that sometimes you're caught up in a whole story that's not even true? This weekend, what kinds of stories do you tend to get caught up in? Is it the same story replaying itself with different proof? And what could you do to build up a little more focus on those positive thoughts that build you up and fortify you and create the kind of positive consequences that you would like to have in your life? 